Hey guys, welcome back. So last time we last time we configured icons in our application, so now we can use any icon we want. But uh, from the way we are working with it, notice that we, we have to make an import every time we are going to use an icon and we have to be importing something quite different. So what I wanna do in this one is to create an icon component that we can just be importing once and maybe we specify the type of the icon and then it can handle it behind the scenes. We're gonna go to our regular common, then I'm gonna create another one called icon. Since we are going to be doing a lot of imports, I'm going to be bringing in all the possible imports that we are gonna need to use. So right now, let me, exclude, let me increase this, make it bigger. So right now you notice that I'm importing every other possible font that we would want to import just like this, just like we are doing it. So now I'm importing it in one place. So what we'll do is we'll have an icon. So const icon component, it's gonna be a simple functional component. Then it's going to be returning any of these depending on the type that the user sends us. So meaning that we're gonna have a prop for the type. So we can, we can do type here. Now when a user passes a type, we need to find which import matches that type. So we're gonna be switching over the type. And now here we can do case. So we can say if, if the user passes fonty sister, then we want to return this icon font, this one. What is font sister? This one. So we can do return font sister like that. Now we have to we have to do the other cases for the other ones. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be moving this one away from here into a separate function. So outside the, this component, I'm gonna have get icon font. So it's gonna be taking in a type, then it's gonna be returning any of this. So in here, now it's gonna return our font type. So, now in our icon component, we can quickly get the font type. So we can do font con. So this one, we can do get icon font. Then we give it a type, which we already have here. So when you give it a type, it's gonna return for us the font icon like that. So that's the one we want to return. So here we can do return the font icon of course as an icon now and then we want to be giving it the other things so here we get the other props from the user and then we'll be sending them here like this let's spread them okay like this so let's export it so export default like this now let's test it out by refactoring our app. So we're gonna go to where we have the side menu. So instead of importing this one twice, we're gonna be importing the icon from our icons. So which we'll do by importing from our common. So we're already in the navigations. We want to go to components, common, icon, like that. Okay, so now for this one, we can specify a type and do something like type equals so the first one was being imported from uh, fontisto so i want to send a type as fontisto so like this let's check which type it is fontisto like this so let's send it so we don't have the autocomplete here but if you're using something like typescript you would see the autocomplete and life your life would be a bit better so save it now we also need to change here so we can use the same icon without importing another one. But now we change this one to material. And now it's, it should be logout. Okay. So if we run this on iOS, 
so it comes back and our icons are still good so that's good and all let's go ahead and also update our icon the one we have in the menu so we're gonna go to the screens and instead of importing it like this we can just import it like this since it's a material one we can click it and do icon type equals material I believe that's how we called it so when we save you see it is still working and everything is good so at this point we can just import like this just specify a type and we don't need to keep importing icon icon every other time so this is gonna do it for the video if you enjoyed it please be sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll talk to you in the next video thanks for watching peace